Hi, how are you going? No, 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 no. Yeah, pretty good today. Yeah, actually, what have you been up to? Not a lot, you? Well, I hope you're alert today because I've got a fair bit to talk to you about. It's pretty good news, actually. Well, let's not make it too heavy. It's too early in the day. Listen, guys, here, take, take one of these papers each and I'll get Karen to read to you. Who's Karen? Where's Karen? Karen. <laughs> She's a voice in my computer. Three pages. Over for farmland. When do we get to meet her? Agape. Listen up, listen. Agape. I'll give you the best part Agape. first. This is Agape. part of the proposal Agape. that uh, we've been working on to get this land. Oh, look it up. And this is the really interesting part, what they hope to do with the land. OK, let's hear from Karen then. Well, this is just to whet your appetite, but you can hear the whole document online if you Speaking want to on my appetite, Facebook page. How about some bacon and eggs? Project Objectives. By fulfilling this project, the following problems will be solved and some necessities of agape childcare home will be catered for. 1. The land will be utilised for poultry farm for regular income in order to solve the irregular and inconsistent income problem. 2. Some parts of the land will be also used for the children's playground. 3. The land will also be used for two hostels, one for boys and one for girls. 4. Some vegetables and fruit trees such as mango, coconut and lemon will also be planted. Oh, a bit quick. Can you slow it down? Nice voice there. Karen, you say? OK, I'll give it to you in a nutshell. There'll be a poultry farm. Where are my eggs? From that, they'll get regular income. Mm -hmm. The children will have a playground. Mm -hmm. They'll have two hostels in time. Take mm -hmm. a little time to get the money for that. Wow. And two hostels, one for the boys, one for the girls, and some vegetable yeah. trees. No, vegetable vegetables trees. and fruit vegetable trees, trees, like mango, a coconut, and lemons. It's a vegetable tree. Sounds good. So you recorded this last night with Karen, huh? She sounds nice. Well, what do you think? Oh, I think it's very, very it's good. It's really not a lot of money, is it? Not when you consider that Elon Musk has got a $250,000 car floating around the moon. Oh, one of them Telstars? No, it's not a Telstar, it's a Tels Tesla. 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 Well, I just happened to make a video on that. You want to Where watch it? Eggs? Pretty heavy yeah, one. Okay, that'd be good. Well, I just warn you, it's a little bit gut wrenching, but just, let's have a look. Just hang on a minute. I've got this dictionary thing. A G A P E, a gap. That'd be it. It'd be a gap. Uh, I think some people say ag agape, and others say agape. Look it up in the dictionary. How's that going to help? It's got a sound thing. You look. Push the speaker icon, the Greek one there. Thank you. Thank you. Now listen to the Agape. 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 I think you didn't, you got to learn to type in Greek. It looks different. I knew a Greek girl once. Her name was Anna. Can't remember. Anna. Oh, yeah. Anna for Anyway, what does it mean? Yeah, over here, look. For people who donate to charity out of the goodness of their hearts, agape love is at play. Doing something for another person, whether you know them personally or not, is a shining example of this particular kind of love. So it's about just loving, being loving, not not because there's something lovely. But anyway, let's, you want to watch this uh, thing about the car in space? Oh yeah, oh, yeah I forgot about that. The cherry red Tesla Roadster on its way into deep space is a tremendous success for Elon Musk, the billionaire behind the SpaceX rocket launch and Tesla cars. Despite the fact that it is so dramatic and so beautiful and so inspiring and so stimulating, we will ultimately not be judged by our technology. Is $250,000. We won't be judged by our design. We won't be judged by our intellect and reason. Ultimately, you judge the character of a society. Not by how they treat the rich and the powerful and the privileged, but by how they treat the poor. 250 miles per hour. By how they treat the poor. <laughs> And it is 110 inches of ultra high definition greatness. We will ultimately not be judged by our technology. What are we going to do? I'm going to do a bit of agape. Agape. Look, okay. let's just say, let's be loving and kind and generous. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I can give that a go.